Commissioner, thank you. It, it frustrates me actually to see that so many agricultural topics are discussed in another committee, but thank you for coming to speak to us. We get the chance to, uh, to top up, so to speak. You mentioned a number of things, and the first and the most important, of course, was antimicrobial resistance. I have 35,000 free-range layers at home. They're with me for 13 months. After three or four months, we see uh, egg production dropping and mortality increasing. We take samples to the vet. The vet prescribes an antibiotic, and hey, presto, the situation is solved. Now, if I wasn't allowed to do that, I would be in serious trouble. And I understand completely the whole problem, the human health problem of antimicrobial resistance. If we are stopped from using these materials, it is grossly unfair for imports coming in from countries where they don't have these rules to completely swamp the market. You mentioned the WHO, the World Health Organization. I think you should be talking to the WTO, the World Trade Organization, so that we can ban imports from countries that use these materials and we are not allowed to. Uh, you talked about food waste. A lot of this is the problem from retailers. They have a carrot's too long or a carrot's too fat, so it gets thrown to waste. You might say, well, feed that to cattle. The problem is many cattle feeders uh, they have to have traceability. Where did their food come from? And they can't use these waste materials. So this is something for the retailers to get hold of. You mentioned food losses. And what a lot of hypocrisy here. 5% of our farms uh, go into EFAs. We are told you can grow protein crops on these EFAs. You must not use pesticides. If we can't use pesticides, you're going to get food losses. It's as simple as that. It's hypocrisy, and there's another lot of hypocrisy in another subject, GM. The European Union imports about 30 million tonnes of GM soybeans. Everybody eats them, and yet the European farmers aren't allowed to use them. You groaned, you groaned, but that is the truth. Pesticides, I fully support. Uh, colleagues Ashworth and Muller, thank you. And of course, also, I know that the time is running, but, but some mentioned the issues related to antimicrobial resistance. Believe me, we are here uh, in, 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 very active. We established uh, uh, one health network. We are in a way to conclude our public consultation. I will, in a way, to present at, 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 at June, to present new action plan on IMR and our three pillars. Uh, first of all, how to uh, uh, see EU as, uh, as best place acting against IMR, how to improve research and innovation, and of course, how to act at international level. And some mentioned WTO, and so, of course, we are discussing those issues with World Health Animal Health Organization, with Food and Agriculture Organization, and then we will discuss those issues at WTO level. And of course, with our trade partners, uh, when we are discussing our international relationship. That's all.